to today's video lifting tightening toning firm skin younger looking skin younger looking you today i have a wonderful combination of ingredients for you that I just mixed together to create this awesome this amazing facial mask now this facial mask is gonna do all that I mentioned and probably even more and I'm using just two ingredient in this facial mask two ingredient that you can readily find in your kitchen so if you're interested if you're curious if you just want to see what these two ingredients can do to your skin continue watching the video our first ingredient is egg and this is a medium egg and I'm using egg in this recipe because egg contain vitamin A now when you apply vitamin A on the skin it's gonna to help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines egg also have a wonderful estrogen properties that when used on the skin will help to shrink large pores it will also help to tighten and firm the skin and it will leave your skin just smooth and glowing our next ingredient is potato and this is called Irish potato depending on where you're living also just regular plain old potato so this is not sweet potato just take a look at it it is just your regular potato now potato can do wonders for the skin it contains vitamin B vitamin C iron and calcium when apply potato to your skin it's gonna get rid of the hyperpigmentation such as acne scars dark spots pimples blemish it you name it potato is also gonna have your skin really clear and it's gonna leave a nice glow to your skin so when I mix the potato in this recipe with this egg you're gonna see how wonderful it is to the skin you're gonna need a grater and you're also gonna need a strainer. Now for this recipe, I'm only gonna be using two medium potato, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash and peel the potato. Now if you have a potato peeler, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna use a knife, because I find that I go much faster with the knife. So you're just gonna peel your potato, wash a second time and now we are gonna grate our potato now I do not recommend blending the potato for this so try to grate the potato so we're just gonna grate and I'm using both now here is the grated potato and next we are gonna strain the potato so I'm gonna place my bowl you're going to use the strainer. If you have a cheesecloth, you could go ahead and use this also. So we're just going to fill our strainer with the grated potato. And I'm using my hands. This is mine. Make sure to use clean hands. And we're just going to squeeze. We're trying to extract the juice from the grated potato. So just squeeze. And try to get as much as possible. Now my grandma used to do this with coconut. When she grated, she used to use her hands and squeeze it like this. And in that way you're getting all the juice out. Going back in. And squeeze. Look at that. Now here is our potato juice and we're going to set this aside for a couple of hours. We're just going to let the potato juice just sit there because we're not going to use the juice. We're going to use what is at the bottom, which is the starch. So in order for it to make the starch, we're going to leave it for a few hours. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the egg and I'm using only the egg white in this recipe. So to separate the yolk from the white, I'm going to show you how to do it really, really quick and easy. So we're going to take our bowl 
and I'm just gonna use my knife to break it and this is what you do you just separate it like this and this one is coming out pretty easy there you have it separating separating just drop that down there another time and there it is now if you notice this is the yolk and this is the egg white and this is what we're going to be using okay so now that our egg white is ready here are the two ingredients we have our egg white and we have our potato so i'm going to set these aside and then i'm going to come back and show you how to put these together so now here we have our potato juice and this was set aside for a couple of hours and now we're going to strain this potato juice a second time now this is a little bit more technical because what you're going to do you're going to take a second bowl and you're going to slowly pour the potato juice out just slowly 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 and take a look at what is happening slowly pour the juice slowly 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 pour the juice out and that's good now you're gonna put this aside for another recipe now look at what we have here and this is what we need now take a look at this this is the starch from the potato so we're only gonna be using the potato starch in this recipe okay now you could give this a nice little mix and this is it okay so take a look at the starch and that's the potato starch right there so now we have the two final ingredient which is our potato starch and our egg so for measurement purposes I'm using two tablespoons of our potato starch and look how thick that is and I have basically the exact amount two tablespoons now you do not get a lot of starch from the potato and that's the reason why I use two medium potato you do not need more anyway is good. and now for our egg white we're using the same amount two tablespoons tablespoon one very difficult to get up all right there you go we got it tablespoon two now you're not gonna put this in the blender you're just gonna use a fork and you're gonna blend this so just blend your egg white and potato starch together. Just blend. You're just gonna blend it for a few. And this is what it looks like. And our mask is ready. So next I'm gonna show you how to use this wonderful facial mask on your skin. Now to demonstrate this, I'm gonna apply it to half a side of my face because I really want you guys to see how well this worked. So now I'm gonna zoom in. So zoom in. So now take a look at my face. This is me before. And now I'm gonna apply this with my brush. So you wanna make sure to mix because the starch will settle at the bottom. So just give it a good start before you apply it. Just mix well. And then squeeze a little if you're using a brush. You don't want it to be running all over. And then apply. Now you wanna apply this in upward strokes. So I'm applying it to half side of my face. Go as close as possible under the eyes. Fill in the laugh lines. And you could take this all the way down on your neck and décolleté. So just apply it. So now take a look. And this is the half a side of my face that I totally covered with the remedy. Just look. And this is the side of my face that I applied nothing to. So I'm gonna sit with this for half an hour. And after half an hour, 
I'm going to come back. However, 15 minutes into this treatment, I'm going to come and show you what is happening within that 15 minutes, okay? Now, I've been wearing this and off the side of my face for 15 minutes, and what is happening right now? What is happening is right here, all the way down to my nose, I'm feeling a tightening, like really, really tight. Right along my jawline, right here, I'm feeling some form of a tightness. I'm also feeling tightness on my upper lips, right here. So it's like someone is pulling the other side of my face, and this side is totally relaxed. Now let me do a 360 for you to see what's going on so far. Okay, so I'm gonna sit for another 15 minutes and then I will be back. Okay guys, I have been wearing this for 30 minutes and take a look. This side of my face is completely tight, completely lifted. My under eyes, take a look at that. You could see for yourself and check out the other side of my face. It's like you're looking at two different person. Look at that, rosy, plump, full, I don't know how this is coming off on your end, but on my end, I am seeing a huge difference. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ooh, tight. Mm. That's the effect, guys. So definitely you could see a big smile. You can see the difference. So now I'm going to rinse off and I will be back. Now guys, remember to rinse the mask off with warm water and after rinsing, you wanna pat dry the skin. When you pat dry the skin, go ahead, apply your favorite toner, serum, and moisturizer. Just use whatever it is you normally use on your skin. You want to use this mask at least two to three times per week for best result. Do not store this in the refrigerator. What you can do, mix the potato and the egg just before you use it, so separate in portion and you could keep the potato in your refrigerator for up to seven days. Now the egg, once you break an egg, then use it up within three days, okay? So I'm gonna go take care of the other half of my face right now because I cannot walk around with an unbalanced face, okay? So there you have it. This facial mask has really been good to my skin. And I also hope that it will be just as good or even better on your skin. So don't be afraid. Give this a try. Try it, come back, and leave your comment, okay? Thank you all for watching. And guess what? If this is the first time watching, I'm sure you want to see more of these videos. Look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it, and you will be subscribed. Also, at the side of the bell, there's a notification. If you click on that, you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe, 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 and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.